What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. All right, man, look. All right, so I have a few of my show business partners DMing me, uh, even in my comments, saying, Showbiz the Adult, how do you feel about Eddie Hearn and his lawsuit threats? saying that if Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder have their bout, there will be a lawsuit, and he's in a great position to have one. Because he's saying Dillian White, he should be next in line for Deontay Wilder for that WBC challenge. Hold up, cough. Okay, uh, there's actually a lot to talk about here. There's a lot to cover, okay, and I'm going to do my best, so uh, bear with me. All right, man. Eddie Hearn. Okay, let's start here. His fighter, D Dillian White. He has a fight July 20th against Oscar Rivas for the WBC interim title. Okay. Which will put him in position to be the WBC mandatory for Deontay Wilder. What he doesn't like is Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are already talking about the trilogy. Eddie Hearn is saying, well, Dillian White, he's going to be uh, the mandatory for the WBC title after July, July 20th. If he's not in position to fight Deontay Wilder when we think he should be, I'll be in a good position to sue. Now, I'm thinking that means he will sue the WBC. He's threatening. Okay, so this is how I feel. First and foremost, I think it's a bit premature. Maybe it's premature because maybe he's responding this way, rather, because he doesn't have any leverage anymore. AJ, he doesn't have any belts. Where's the big fight? Um, I'm starting to get pushed out. Andy Ruiz is with Al Heyman. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, they're talking about the trilogy. Wait a minute. I still have fighters. Dillian White, he should be the WBC mandatory. Okay. The reason why I say it's premature is because July 20th isn't here yet. Oscar Rivas can be the mandatory. He could beat Dillian White. It can be an upset. We've seen upsets. We just saw one. Andy Ruiz, AJ. But on top of that, Oscar Rivas, he is no stranger to pulling out upsets. If you know who he is, stocky heavyweight, six feet, patient fighter, goes to the body, goes up to the head well, variety of punches, very economical. Pressure fighter walks you down, pressures you with his feet. He upset Bryant Jennings. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. TKO, 12th round. So he has experience pulling out an upset. So like I said, it's a little premature to say that, hey, I would be in a position uh, to have a lawsuit if Dillian White isn't a mandatory when we think he should be. He also followed up by saying, continue to support Dillian White. Well, the problem I have with that is how much did Matchroom support Dillian White when he wanted to fight AJ? Dillian White, he felt lowballed. There were beef there, some beef there, okay? All right, I do understand though. If you have a mandatory, you have to take care of your mandatories. How can you possibly say, Bob Arum and Al Heyman, that there will be a trilogy and there's a mandatory out there? Problem is, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, <laughs> makes for better TV right now. Not too many people in the States know who Dillian White is. WBC, they definitely... They definitely uh, have motivation, um, a reason, an incentive to allow for that trilogy 
between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Eddie Hearn seems to be panicking a little bit. I suggest that we make sure Dillian White get past Oscar Rivas before we start talking like this. Also, let's see what happens with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, Dillian White, that's still a rematch that people are just yearning for out in the UK. You can still have that fight in-house. So, in conclusion, would he be in position for a lawsuit? I don't know. I don't know the rules. I get it, though. If Dillian White beats Oscar Rivas, becomes the mandatory, then how the hell can you talk about a trilogy with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder? I totally get that. I'm holding the guy with the mandatory. He's been number one for 580 odd days. So, really, I'm not sure exactly what to think about it. As a boxing fan, though, I'm excited about the trilogy, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. And I think that is the thing that holds the most weight for the WBC. What would people pay for the most? Show biz the dope. I definitely get Eddie Hearn. I get why uh, he's like, hey, look here, man. I need to put my pieces back in play. I'm out. Shh.